Last week, I done a video about how you set your iPhone to record great quality video from mobile phone. And today, I have the Samsung. So firstly, we need to open the camera. In the camera, you got in the right hand side of the phone you got the setting button so you press on the setting and in that setting you know camera setting you got a list but today because we are focusing only on the video setting so i'm just going to focus on the video setting so i go to the video setting and in the video setting you got rear video size you got front video size First important thing is the grid line. Let me set the grid line. The grid line will give you an opportunity to frame your picture correctly. If I go back to camera, so I hold the camera like that. You see two line horizontal and two line vertical. When I'm going to do a video explaining what that grid means, so you will understand. Yeah, my friend, you know, Jampi is the cameraman. <laughs> Let's go back to the setting. So the grid is already set. So now we're going to set, you know, the size of the camera. The rear size and the front size. So let me start with the rear side rear side is mean you know the camera here at the back yeah that's the camera here so let's open the rear side camera so you have few versions you have a full you have one to one and you have the, the 16 by 9 resolution that's what i'm gonna select and in that 16 by 9 resolution you have options so let me open the option that we have. So you have Ultra HD and also you have whatever the Cube HD, you have Full HD and even Full HD you have two options, one 60 frames per second and one is just 30 frames per second and you have just, it's just a normal HD. So for you to get a nice image you set the thing on the ultra hd but for you the resolution when you reduce it to the full hd you still get a great quality image so that's why you set it back to the ultra hd otherwise it's called 4k and then for the front so we go there we we got the 16 by nine here again you know you select not not a quite like a 4k is that a 2k so we can put that on 2k so the front camera also set so what next next is to look at the recording quality you got high efficiency video. If you recording in 4K, so then it's best for you to choose the high efficiency video one. Because the size will be a little bit smaller, so we choose the high efficiency. And then Samsung has video stabilization as well. So this video stabilization, so you also Take the video, video stabilization because we have a shaking hand, so that will help a little bit like keep the footage steady. And HDR or rich tone, this one as well, I think you know you put it on because why it gives you that crispy, clear, nice color that you see on, on, on the images. So I think, let me see what else. I think, I think for this, for this one, or those four settings is enough, you know, for the video. So you set the, the camera, 
video for the rear camera and for the front camera and also you put the video stabilization on you choose the high efficiency video for smaller size you also untick the HDR which on the grid is set so yeah so that's yeah yeah I think that that's all that you need to set for now just to get that great quality pro quality video for for your Samsung now the camera is set so let's find something to shoot nice with you. You look good in the rain And I know once that you're mine We'll have nothing to change Getting so impatient We don't get away now Alright guys, I hope you find this very short tip for the setting up your Samsung very useful And if so, please hit the like button and if you find it very useful, why not share it with your friends? I think your friends that have Samsung, they may find it useful as well. And if you are here for the first time, hit the subscribe button. And if you are returning, you know, subscriber, I'm so pleased to see you again. So I hope you know this video is useful for you. And I'm looking forward, guys, to see you for my next video. Alright?